Hi everyone, it's Brian from McDuff's Cool Stuff, and today I have another helpful tip for you if you're going to be listing uh, pictures on eBay. Uh, one of the problems you may run into, especially if you happen to use stock photos, is that the photos have to be 500 pixels on at least one side of the photo, either going across or going up and down. And if you're not sure what pixels are, just kind of think of them as like little building blocks and each uh, building block or a dot maybe is a better uh, analogy is that they build up the picture and so there has to be at least 500 dots going or pixels going across or going up and down for eBay to be able to post the picture. Otherwise it gives you an error and I'll give you an example here of what that looks like in just a moment. So um, before we go on if you could I'd appreciate it if you could uh, like the video or even better yet, subscribe to my channel. I'm working on trying to get up to uh, 500. I'm very close to that, and I really appreciate your support in that endeavor. So here, let me show you what happens when you drop in a photo that has um, a pixel issue. So here's how you go about fixing the resolution of the photos. You can make them a little bit bigger by using a program that would come on your computer. It's called Preview. Uh, however, if you are using Windows, you would probably use a different program that may have come with a computer. And I, I think the procedure is very similar to this. I'm not sure that you can use, uh, by you know, do multiple photos at one time. But this latest version of uh, Mac OS, they improved the, the preview program so that you can actually adjust multiple photos all at once. And that's really saved me a lot of time because I had uh, many patches I probably had like 30 different patches and I'd scanned uh, like 25 of them at least 25 of them at the wrong resolution before I discover what I did first thing you do is you have to locate the files that you are need to change it so I got these two this one right here is called scan and this one's called patch <clears throat> those are file names given by the scanner not me but so anyway if you just hold down you click on one and then click on the other one so they're both selected. I, I held down the shift key to select them all or you can do another little trick. Let's see if I can, you can actually just kind of hold down the mouse key and select them both. Click the files and it will open up a program called Preview which would come with your computer. Like I said on Windows it's probably something different but I'm going to make it larger here so you can kind of see what's going on. Here's my two files over on the side uh, window, and you can select between them, this one or this one. And all you have to do is the same kind of procedure. You're going to click click on one, then hold down the shift key and select the other one. And then up here in the tools menu, there's one choice. It says adjust size. So I'm going to click on adjust size, and it's going to have some it may not even have a number here but you just want to change the width to 500 and it's going to, it says down here it's going to be changing two images and then you can put down 500 here as well um, that'll make it square at least <laughs> so then hit OK it's going to change the photos so that they're you know the proper size now they're both 500 on one side or on both sides in this case and the next most important thing to do is go to the file menu and pull down save and it will overwrite your files in the new larger um, format that you just you just set up so now here's my two photos here so I'm going to take one and see if I can uh, drag it right into my listing here and you see I don't get the error any longer so that just the size but once again like I said you don't want to make it too big if you if it's a really tiny photo and you try to blow it up too much it's going to end up looking uh, really poor and grainy and it's going to um, it's it's not going to look good you want to represent the best photos you can when you uh, put them in your eBay listings well I hope this helps you out everybody uh, my goal here is to give you as much information to help you be successful on on eBay I've been a seller on eBay since 1999, and so I've learned a few things over the years, and I've really tried to refine the way that I list items and uh, you know, make, make the process a little bit less painful because, you know, let's face it, that's not the funnest thing to do. The funnest thing is going out and finding the stuff 
The least funnest part is, is sitting down and listing it. So hopefully this will help you save some time, especially if you have the issue with the photos being too small. So please, if you could like and subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate it. And I'll have more videos coming out on similar subjects coming up in the future. And thanks for watching.